Thomas Floating Farm is a platform that will be floating in the coastal area. Okay, a smart floating farm is mainly built with Arduino 101 and then in here we use many kind of sensors that will monitor the climate and then the situation, the physical and physical parameter to make the plant growth uh, ideal. For all, we will have this measure in here and then sending it using the ESP8266 and then we can display it through the website so you can check our website. So first of all, we must turn it on the Arduino 101. We wait around 5 seconds here. We will have the welcome display, smart folding farm. SFF Montis ID and then we will calibrate gyro is where we need to calibrate gyro and then check and here we give our Maria Bros tone to make sure the buzzer is doing well and then we prepare for communication with ESP8266 So the ASP will be set as station and then disconnecting and also connecting to the Wi-Fi. And here we use uh, Android headphone as Wi-Fi hotspot. After that, the ASP will get good IP and starting to connect to the server, get a parameter, the threshold from the server. After got the server parameter, connect it and then sending the data from the sensor and here we also know what are the parameter that we have been measured from the sensors and here if the condition is extremely dangerous or the relay will be switched on and then in here we see that the water can come to the hydroponic uh, about 10 seconds so after the sensor give the input to the Arduino, the Arduino will set the condition if this condition is have the same with our uh, our parameter or our decision. So the Arduino will turn on the relay and then switch the pump on and then give the water. So right now we will try to demonstrate if how if the light is turned off as you can see the light is turned off when the light intensity is very enough to turn it off air temperature and the humidity is very extremely high so the fan will be inhale and exhale the, the air inside the greenhouse like as you see here and also we demonstrate how if uh, the sprayer will it works so the sprayer will sp spray the water to the plant after the condition is set and the condition is come back again the relay will turn off the fan will be not turning on again as you can see in here it's turn off the sprayer also turn off. Okay, uh, with we are we got challenge, uh, many things, many, many challenges in how to improve or how to understand the Arduino 101. The basically that the main voltage from Arduino 101 is very different with the Uno. So it's the main voltage is 3.3 voltage, and it's very uh, difficult for us to uh, ensure for example for using the software serial so we need some trick to to make sure that this Arduino 101 is good uh, or make functionally but the advantages we using the Arduino 101 that we also use the, the gyro the internal gyro to know the rotation pitch roll and yo we have the ASP using the same voltage so it will be easier for us to communicate using the software serial 